Give a big applaud to one of the most awesome gamers on the web. You should know who he is. He goes by the name Sag or Sajgun. Here he is. Welcome back, my dear friends of the universe, to another update video where we talk about Fallout 4. I wanted to change up the format a little bit in this video, mainly just to try out something new and maybe for, maybe for another reason as well, but we'll see that in later in this video, alright. So there's a couple of things that I want to talk about this video that I haven't really touched yet on my channel. And the first thing that I want to talk about is the conversation system in Fallout 4 is apparently a little bit different from how it was used before. In a lot of RPGs, when you're in a conversation with an NPC, everything around you sort of stops. Everything pauses and you have that uh, dialogue and then it continues after that. And this works kind of well because there's usually a lot of dynamic systems around, so you don't want to uh, get eaten by a huge monster while you're talking to someone important. It probably won't happen, but it could happen if it didn't pause, but it won't be paused in Fallout 4. The conversation will be more dynamic. You can apparently leave in the middle of a conversation whatever you want. You can pick up your gun and you can shoot somebody in the head. And we also know that the dialogue system uh, is a little bit different from the previous uh, games. Normally you had like uh, a little bar where you could pick from a certain set of lines which had a different meaning, some were usually like jolly and good mannered and some could be really, um, I don't know, something that you shouldn't choose. Alright, maybe you should choose that if you want to play as a bad character, but yeah, that's usually how it worked. This time around it looks like we're gonna have more of a dialogue wheel, which we have seen before, and I think this is more suited for consoles and if you're playing with a controller. So I'm, I'm, I'm a little bit sad that they're changing up the UI in that way, but it doesn't bother me too much if I'm gonna be totally honest. And the thing about having dynamic conversations is that there could be that something happens while you're in a, an important conversation with someone, which is going to be interesting to see how everything is going to be tackled with that. If you're in an important conversation with someone and you're getting attacked by, I don't know if you can get attacked, but if you can get attacked in some sort of way, then how will that work in the game? That's what I'm gonna be most interested to see. And they have said that they have something planned for the karma system. We haven't gotten any great detail about the karma system in Fallout 4. I honestly have almost forgot about the karma system from uh, New Vegas and Fallout 3, but the karma system has been something that has created a sort of cool dynamic with the different factions. If you have bad karma, uh, th some people will be afraid of you. And uh, there has been uh, this faction system where some of the factions like you and so on. I guess that's not really tied to the karma system, but it's a similar system. It's gonna be interesting nonetheless to see how they tackle this in Fallout 4, but we're just gonna have to wait for more news about that in the future. So, have you been wondering, will I have enough storage space in order to install Fallout 4? I don't know. Will you? Fallout 3 was about 5-6 gigabyte if I remember it correctly, and that isn't a big of a deal. Fallout 4 though will be 28 gigabytes, so the comparison from Fallout 3 to Fallout 4 is pretty pretty huge, then a lot of people have been surprised that it's only 28 gigabytes in size. People expected it to be even bigger since they have said that there will be so much content in the game. But they have been a little bit more... Um, or they have saved a little bit on the assets in terms of quality. It's not the most high resolution game when it comes to textures. Uh, we have already seen that and some of the animations and so on look a little bit dated. But then again, with that said, this game is going to be huge. So there is an issue with having such a huge open world game and having 
really beautiful graphics and so on. Witcher 3 did a very good job on it, but then again, I'm, I, I, I like the style of Fallout 4. There's some little things here and there that have scratched me in a bad kind of way, but no, overall, I'm pretty happy with how the game looks and it's gonna be interesting to see how it feels in the long run. It's a little bit more saturated than the old games was, there's a lot more colors and so on, so I'm not sure how that is actually going to affect the gameplay overall, but it's going to be interesting to see nonetheless. Also, there won't be any exclusive content. Thank God. Thank God. Um, we won't have any exclusive uh, DLCs for Xbox or PlayStation 4 or PC. Everything will be released and shipped out on the same date, which is awesome. Uh, why I think that I think that I think about it, exclusive content is something we can talk about in another video. Otherwise, this video will go on forever and ever and ever and ever in my heart and now never. But the way that Bethesda used their business model and how they have promoted the game and that they basically have no pre-order bonuses and no kinds of shit like that that makes you for or that forces your hand sort of to buy the game without even have to play it it's a really good thing it's something that i really love about bethesda and i think it's one of the few companies that actually stay true to what is best for the consumer and not necessarily best for the uh, company but i think in the end what's best for the consumer is best for the company in the long run so great job there bethesda also uh, i wanted to show you guys something i have a little uh, thing on my body that uh, is called a penis now i'm just uh, joking i have this little thing it's my Vault Boy Tattoo that I got a couple of years back and it's sort of a tribute to my gaming heart in general. I really love gaming and overall gamers, at least from my point of view, people who don't game and who hear that someone's a gamer, they sort of sigh and yeah. They don't think it's that interesting and it's sort of my way to shove it in their face and say hey I'm a gamer I'm proud of it I'm not ashamed of it and I really love the Fallout franchise so what I wanted you to do now if you want is to um, talk about something in about Fallout that you have in your home maybe maybe you have some old trivia stuff from the older games or maybe you have all the games let me know in the comments below also do you have any cool gaming related tattoos and also let me know in the comments below Below. You can uh, send me a picture on my Twitter account. The Twitter is in the description if you want to do that You're more than welcome to but I think that's what about it that I want to talk about for this video Also, let me know what you think about this format Would I just sit and talk with you guys in front of the screen and yeah until next time guys bye In cooperation with Giveaway Links, one of the best places to get free games on the web. Link in the description.